Hey, what's going on guys? Koman Games here. In this video, we're going to be implementing uh, expand node method. So from the previous part, you remember that in case if the node is not fully expanded, uh, we need to return uh, the node returned from the self expand function. So this is the exact function we're supposed to be implementing in this video. So let's going to do it now. So here we simply want to expand, expand node, nothing much but this. So def expand, and it, uh, this method takes the self instance and the node from from the select node function here. So literally the parent node, where we want to expand some nodes for. Okay, so here the very first thing to consider, we want to generate a legal uh, states or moves. Uh, I'm just I'm just calling this states because uh, uh, from the Monte Carlo research perspective it's the matter of board states, but from the game perspective it's the matter of moves. So generate legal states uh, for the current uh, for, for 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 the node. It's not for the for the current for the current which is the parent. Okay, so uh, for the given for the given node, let's say like this. So just say states equals and now i need to say node.board so remember there is the board uh instance the instance of the board class uh, is associated with with a with, with a given node obviously so whatever position we have it's stored here and for this current given position that we have we need to generate states okay so this would give us a list of possible uh, uh the, this uh, well uh, technically this would return the list of board instances basically uh but again like from the game perspective it's uh, uh, kind of possible moves and from the Monte Carlo research perspective uh from the Monte Carlo algorithm perspective is the matter of so-called actions available to take anyway we need to loop over uh generated well let's say states and in parenthesis moves so we can simply say for state in states like this and now uh, we need to make sure uh, that current state or move uh, is not present in child nodes so uh, by saying this I mean that Let's say we have several child nodes for a given current node, which is the parent node. So uh, we should avoid the situation if uh, there would be two similar moves uh, for a current given node, because that's nonsense, obviously. So now I can now we'll write a condition to check that basically. So I can say if, and now to just to make uh, just to, uh, as far as uh, the children uh, node that children. Uh, has the data type data type of Python dictionary. It's the matter of key uh, key and value pairs. So uh, I would be storing uh, our board state using the stringified version of the position as the, some sort of a unique identifier. Well, obviously it's maybe not the best ever way of doing things, but it's uh, it's enough for a tic tac toe game at least. So respectively, we need to. Uh, check whether the current given key is available is present in our child nodes uh, uh, in the notes uh, in, in the child nodes so uh, let me just write this so I can say if and stringify and I'm using state dot position so remember that the state is the current board instance and it has the position element within its uh, within inside as an inner class field and this position holds the board position when we stringify this uh, it becomes like a dictionary in in json format basically so we're, we're using this entire position as as this as the key for it uh, for a dictionary of uh, of a board state in a child node so if this stringified version uh, not in and now we need to reference node dot children. So not the children is the list of uh, is the list of child nodes here. And the matter of this 
not how this not in works in Python, uh, assuming that the children is a type of dictionary, it would be looking for this string uh, as the key value within the children dictionary. So if children dictionary has this sort of a key, that means that it, it is in there. If it doesn't, then it means that it's not kind of present there. So in this case, we want to, the first thing to consider, we want to create a new node and just call it new node basically like this. And it would be equal, so this would be the instance of the tree node where uh, current state that we're reiterating over the states. Uh, so uh, this state, one of the uh, available states would be uh, associated with the with this new node okay and this node that we're taking as as the argument would be the parent node respectively next thing we need to associate new board uh, uh, associate let's say newly created newly created node uh, with uh, with a child with a child node. So well actually uh, well let's better oh, let's better call it not associate but let's say add child node to parents node children uh, well actually this is the dictionary but uh, I say I call it like list from from the logical perspective it's kind of list of but uh, in terms of Python, this is the dictionary. Well, well maybe let's say no children list. Uh, actually, this is the dictionary. So here uh, we can simply say note dot children. And just the, the regular way of how to add a new element to a Python dictionary. So we need to create a new key. And to create this key, again, like I'm using this stringify state dot position as a unique key, and this would be equal to the new node. And again, like now it's, I uh, hope it now gets a little bit more clear on why, uh, on how this condition works. So we're assigning this uh, key name, like string, str stringify version of state dot position, which is just a string, uh, like in JSON type. So if, if it is available within this node children, if it's not available, then we create uh, a new node and store this new node in the, in the children dictionary. Otherwise, we simply don't do it. And the very last thing to consider, uh, we need to keep track of uh, the condition of whether the, this kind of parent node is fully expanded or not. So uh, we need to figure out, figure out whether current and just call it kind of parent node is fully expanded or not. So if in order to uh, check this we can simply we can simply can compare the length of our states so it's kind of uh, the list of of newly created possible actions possible moves for a current given state so if the length of the state is simply equal to the length of node.children, in this case, uh, we we sure uh, we, we we can ensure ourselves that actually the node is fully expanded because there are no more moves to uh, there, there are no more nodes to create because there are no more legal actions to take in a current node. So in this case. We can simply say node dot is fully expanded equals to true. Uh, so let's better say, figure out, let's say case for case when node is fully expanded. Okay, or condition. Well, case when the node is fully expanded. So if length of the states is equal to the length of the node children, this means that node is fully extended, full, fully expanded. Uh, also, uh, you remember like from 
the select method, uh, we always need to return the node from our select method. So whatever happens here, regardless of this addition, the nodes to the to the uh, node child no, no children, we anyway we need to return. We want to return uh, a new node. So here we return newly created node and we just say return node like this uh, sorry return new node okay so we, did, we just did expand the, this parent node we did expand it so we've created uh, a new node uh, we have appended this to the, as a child node and then we return it so this is how it's working okay so I hope this is clear and the very last but not least thing to consider here um, let's say uh, debugging for, 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 for a debugging we can say just print and shouldn't should not get here so if, if we uh, are ever about to see this uh, message on the screen that means that something has gone horribly wrong in our Monte Carlo research algorithm because we always uh, we assume that we always would be returning the new node from here so I hope that's clear okay guys so let me just quickly check this one last time so generating moves looping over the moves make sure that this node is not available, create a new one, initializing the child, setting up is a full expanded flag, and return the node eventually new node eventually. Yeah, this, this seems to be kinda it. So the the only two things left here uh, to finish the implementation of our Monte Carlo research class is to define uh, only a couple more methods. So it would be uh, the rollout method that is intended to simulate the game by making random moves and it'll reach in the end of the game and also by propagating the number of visits and scores to the root node. So in the next video we will implement our rollout method. Okay guys, so this is it from my side. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something interesting out of it. I hope to see you in the next video in this series. Until that time and take care.